Hi, I'm Cheryl Ann Webster, creator of the Beautiful Women Project, and in this set of tutorials, I will teach you how to create a plaster cast of a beautiful body. Part three, the all important cleanup. When you're finished doing your cast, whether you've used a big bucket or a small yogurt pot, what you'll find, oh, it's yucky, is a thick, thick sludge. And that's what will clog the drains and so on. So what I want you to do is let it set, then squeeze the container, tip it out, the plaster goes into the garbage and the plastic container goes into the recycling. So one more time, never ever pour it in a drain. Ever. Never, ever. Never, ever. No. So now comes the cleanup process of your beautiful person who's been cast. For the plaster, when I take it away from her in a minute, we're going to lay it down on nipples and belly because again, these are the strongest areas now. And the edges are going to be fragile. Depending on where you live and where you store it, it may take a couple of days to dry or it may take a few weeks. If it's humid and winter and rainy and so on, it will take longer. Don't put it in the oven, don't do any of those things. You can use a hair dryer on it if you really need it to dry faster, but it, it dries pretty fast on its own. So unless you're absolutely eager to use it, just be patient, sit with it, handle it, observe it, and decide as you're waiting how you wish to represent yourself on it. And you can already hear the difference. So I would hazard a guess that this will be dry and ready to use in a couple of days. Be on the safe size one to three weeks, but never wrap it in plastic. Always put it on fabric or paper and we're going to put it belly down. There's one maple leaf, there's a second maple leaf. There we are. Now, your lady who's being cast might not feel as comfortable as Angela, so of course you can immediately give her something to wear. Whatever she's going to wear, though, it needs to be okay to get plaster on. The plaster's not as dodgy anymore, it's not going to stick on things as more, but you'll see it has stuck to her and those flakes will end up in different places. So I'm going to lay her beautiful cast down like this on paper or fabric to keep it safe. This is a different pot. This one is just water. See? Just water. And of course, if you've got a bucket, that's even easier. We're going to use an old cloth, clean. This has only got plaster, so I call that clean. <laughs> and all you're going to do is dip it. And of course, it's nice and warm by this point. And it won't make her jump at all. Okay. And we're just going to move away the bigger flex. That's actually refreshing. It's refreshing. Yeah, it wasn't my, where the plaster was, wasn't getting hot. I could feel my hands and my face ah. getting hot. So even Angela, and she's not pregnant, still had that little heat wave come over. So be cautious. And again, we wouldn't normally be doing this in studio lights. If you could see this room, we have five cameras, four microphones, uh, 13 light bulbs and 25 foot of black fabric. So we've actually created rather a hot room. I wouldn't recommend that. Definitely some ventilation is good. We have a small fan on, but no matter the circumstance, if your lady's starting to get hot, just put that cool compress on the back of her neck and I won't put this one on her forehead because she's done a makeup all pretty like and this one's got plaster in. But you can, of course, and if you need to, we'll douse her in water. <laughs> but in a minute, we're going to give her a chance to take a shower. But before getting in the shower, because we don't want plaster down the taps, we're going to take out the big crumblies. Okay, <laughs> now they're stuck. So the bits, the areas that get stuck tend to be around the edge and definitely if you've got, again, like me, a breast with an undercut, the, you're going to find crumblies in there and in the belly button, although yours has very little in the belly button. It's like good vaseline -ing. It was a very good vaseline -ing. And definitely down here. So these are the areas, I mean, on her clothes, she assured me these are not her lucky pants, so that's just fine. But that's the kind of areas it gets stuck. So either the person can do it themselves if they're not holding maple leaves or with permission, I'm going to go in and just get that little piece of flake that's right at Pretty the back. Good. There we are. Now what we're going to do is we're going to send Angela off to get washed off. The easiest way to get the Vaseline, and you can see it on the light, a lot of areas of Vaseline is gone, but there's still residue and it resists the soap. So you can use a gentle soap detergent to do the initial wash or a shampoo. And in her case, because there's not very much, just body soap will work. And when she comes back, we'll have a little chat about what she felt about the whole process. 
Thanks very much. Thank you. Shall I take the maples? Yes. I hope you've enjoyed this set of tutorials and learnt lots on how to make the perfect plaster cast. In the upcoming series, I will teach you how to decorate them. Don't miss out on this set of tutorials. Do like and subscribe to my channel. That way, I can teach you more fun things that are sometimes really messy. Until the next time, take good care. CherylAnnWebster.com